Hey everybody, it's Will with um, a tutorial for computers today. Um, I'm sorry for the bad uh, image quality. I'm not really used to recording, uh, you know, actual video footage. Usually, just my Xbox. Um, anyway, so basically, I have like a I have several people asking me how do I install RAM on a laptop, and so I just thought I'd make this video so I could reference them to the link. Anyway, let's go through a few procedures before we actually install the RAM, which will need a proper laptop. And first off, I will get this out of the way. I do not actually have any extra RAM I'm installing. I'll just be more or less showing you what you would do if you had a RAM. Anyway, so first step is to turn off the laptop. We can close it, flip it around, and our next step will be to remove the battery. So we'll want to unlock it, and then just... My bad. Take the battery out. So I'm just taking the battery out. I don't know if you can see right here. There's a screw, and it's only one screw, and that screw removes the battery, or not the battery. My bad. Um, moves this panel, which you can access your RAM. So, so you can get a better look. I will. I will remove the screw. Alright, sorry, it's taking so long. Oh shit. Alright, so make sure you set this aside. Remember this screw. It's pretty small. You'll need it. And then, um, on some laptops, depending on, it's kind of stuck in there. I'm trying to just totally force it out, but you will need to put a little bit of it, a little force in there. So once you have this open, you'll see right here. Now, on my laptop, I only have 4 gigs. Not really that much. And it's in this back one. I don't know if you can see because the depth perception isn't very well. But as you guys can see, it's in the back and not the front. If you put it in the front section and not the back with just one stick RAM, you'll get a weird beeping sound, and I don't think you'll load up with the satellite. Don't know for all laptops, but I know that's for sure. So um, if you guys can't see here, there's uh, clips that hold in your RAM on either side. So to get our RAM stick out, or so to get it out, if we're going to be replacing it, we we'll want to push them back. So let's just go like this. Uh, my finger is kind of small, so I can easily do it. And then it'll be popped up slanted like that. And then we'll simply want to gently remove our RAM. I'm trying not to touch anything else. I won't kill it, but um, it's not good. And trying to damage it. Um, as far as getting it backwards you can't because there's a little notch here and it's not in the middle so as you guys can see here there's another notch or there's a place where you can see so you line up the notch and so it's impossible to actually put it in backwards as you can see the notches and wouldn't be lined up if I were to put it in so anyway so you can if this is your old RAM you can put it aside or simply um, you know uh, if you're throwing it away I wouldn't suggest that but anyway so like I said, let's pretend this is four six. This is a four gigabyte. So I'll say I'm getting an eight gigabyte. So what I want to do is, as you guys, when you guys took it out, it popped up at an angle. We're gonna want to put it in at an angle like that, and and we're gonna want to. Uh, oops, I dropped it. We're gonna want to keep put it at that angle, and get the ram stick in to where you really don't see the yellow little bars anymore on the ram stick. You want to push down until you hear a click. Now you shouldn't have to put too much force in it and if you do then it, it's it's not in right because if you do you could damage the RAM as well as the holders and that's a bad issue. So once you've done this we can simply put our paneling back on and show you guys that it works. Um, uh, most laptops these days you don't have to go through any configuration settings after putting a new RAM which is quite nice. So as you guys can see, all I'm going to do is just um, put the screw back on. You know what? I will just put that on later to save time. We're going to want to put in our battery. And we'll turn it on. I'll turn on my laptop. Um, your boot up may take it just a teeny bit longer because it's loading in, you know, new RAM. Let me get, let me take my camera just to show you.
I just stuck a bunch of books to get a good angle. So, just to make sure you guys know that I'm not lying, really. Hopefully you wouldn't think I am. Um, actually, I'll just, I guess, cut it to when startup is, because 